in the US Grand Prix is go. Mighty reaction time for Lando Norris in the Papaya McLaren. He's going to get the lead before we get to turn number one. Lando Norris takes the lead in the US Grand Prix. It was close to contact between Charles Leclerc and the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton, but they made it through. And Hamilton has gone down a position. Up goes Carlos Sainz to P3 as they sweep through the S's on the first of 56 laps. But it's a dream getaway for the man who's turned second place in the grid to first in the race. Lando Norris leads. Yeah, that was a great start from him. I think there was some contact. We saw a little puff of smoke, but uh, no visible damage. And uh, yeah, what a great, great start for Lando Norris. He now needs to manage those tires with the car heavy with fuel. Max Verstappen gained a position. He is up to fifth. They are debating into the braking zone. A move there with Gasly trying to find his way by. It's Ocon ahead of Russell for the moment. Gasly down to 10th position. His teammate has improved up to that position. Now, Charles Leclerc has lost the lead. He's got his teammate for company as well. Max Verstappen is trying to pass. The two Ferraris go wheel to wheel. Will they make it through turn 12? That is mighty close between the two of them. There he goes. That's Mercedes. the Mercedes of Russell down. The inside into turn 11. Can Ocon come back on him now? This is going to be a melee down to turn 12. Build up the speed all the time. The detection point is ahead of the corner. So that is why DRS belongs to George Russell. But it's a good launch off the line. Are we going to go three wide? We're on board with Sergio Perez. Who is going to lead into this corner? It's George Russell who manages to get past. And Perez gets through as well. Down goes Ocon. Here's the opportunity for Lewis Hamilton. He's within a second, he's within DRS, wants to clear both Ferraris. This is the first of them. Carlos Sainz, who got the jump on him in the opening corners of the race, and that was not a contest. Down to turn 12, Hamilton easily taking third place in the race. Here's a lunge from Max Verstappen, trying to take fourth place away, and he does so. So that was as easy as Hamilton's move was one lap before. This might be a pretty standard one. Are we going to see more of a defense than Carlos Sainz did? Yes, but he's got the momentum. Can he pull it off on the outside? No problem there for Lewis Hamilton. And now the chase is on. Esteban Ocon, who has the most retirements of anyone in the field in Formula One 2023, is going to extend that unwanted record for the sixth time this year. He will not see the flag. The team have told him to retire the car. Oscar Piastri ailing on the racetrack. Oscar, recharge on and no full pedal. We need big lifts. I'm afraid we've got to retire the car. Charles Leclerc leaving a car's width for Max Verstappen. Off the road he goes. Verstappen will apply it flat to the floor. And still they go side by side. Can Verstappen turn it into a traction race? He goes around the outside of the Ferrari. He takes third place in the Grand Prix and he sets up his bid for victory as he finally is able to take the position. But Charles Leclerc looks like he doesn't want to give it up. Little defense here, both on the brakes. You're just sort of rolling off the brake pedal at this point, aren't you? And and just kept, kept it on the track. Car on. Yeah, yeah, just kept it on track. He goes first, trying to force the hand of Hamilton and Norris ahead. A reminder for you, he was 6.4 seconds away from Lando Norris. So he's extended the stint. Verstappen will come out, all things being normal for Verstappen, ahead of Lewis Hamilton. I was just about to go and say, look, he's the great pretender. This is all part of their script. They've got it under control. And uh, th this could be the masterstroke, but indeed. He Here's has the change. To, yeah, there you go. He's behind as they run out of the pit lane. He goes for it. He goes to the inside and Norris thinks about his own race. He tries to come back now. Side by side they go. And to the apex first gets Max Verstappen, who has the lead on track. And now he's got to build a 20 second gap and come back against Lando Norris, who's trying to respond. Lando Norris comes into the pits, all of the expectation of a one stop. And suddenly the British driver abandons that plan. They were thinking of plan B, but they didn't execute it. And Norris dives for early fresh rubber to change the entire complexion of the Grand Prix. Hit the marks. The team goes to work. It's slow, slower than he would have wanted. 3.3 is not a disaster. Verstappen takes the pit lane limiter off. We'll have to bring those tyres into temperature. They're hard tyres, so they'll take a little while to fire up as well. He's got track position over Lando Norris. 
Carlos Sainz fighting his way past George Russell into the braking zone. And uh, Carlos Sainz gets by. That's up to fifth position. Lewis Hamilton comes in. Pivotal moment in the Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton couldn't do a one-stop. And it will mean that this is now the battle for the lead with Max Verstappen looking for the half-century of victories today. He goes to the apex first. He gets past the Ferrari. And Max Verstappen takes the lead at the US Grand Prix. He's turned sixth on the grid to the lead in the States. As we go on board with the McLaren, looking to make the pass. That's what it looks like to improve up to second place in the Grand Prix. Lando Norris is in P2. So Hamilton takes the slipstream. Leclerc closes the door, but there's nothing he can do. It's third place in the Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton. Fernando Alonso on the charge of oh, that piece of tarmac. We've seen that go wrong before, but this time it's a sweep by Yuki Tsunoda. As we go on board with Lance Stroll, who's endured a tough couple of races, but he's just fought his way past Yuki Tsunoda for the final point. But is this a round at outside? Yeah, it is indeed. Brave and great. Very late, please, man. This is for second place in the Grand Prix. Can Hamilton dive to the inside? Oh, late move from Lando Norris to go to the inside. You can make one move. It was decisive. Hamilton tries to fight his way by, and will he get ahead? Brilliant action between the pair of them. Lewis Hamilton takes second place in the Grand Prix. The two Scarlet Ferraris are bound to go side by side, and there's no battle there for Charles Leclerc. Fernando Alonso retires the car, and we now know the seeing on their data logging that he's got some dropouts and floor performance. <laughs> Let's see, the up and under should be a change of position, and it is. That's the difference between fresh tyres and old tyres. That's the difference between sixth and fifth in the Grand Prix. This is the final corner of the last lap. The Dutch driver looks up and sees the checkered flag first for the 50th time in Formula One. Max Verstappen takes victory. He wins the US Grand Prix once again. Lewis Hamilton got the gap down to 2.2 seconds. At the end, Lando Norris takes his 12th career podium. The top three with outstanding performances. Tough race, but uh, still won, so that's good. Max Verstappen, another win, he's fifth in a row. Lewis Hamilton got the gap down to 2.2 seconds across the line as he claimed second place. And Lando Norris with a sixth podium visit of the season. Carlos Sainz two stop to good effect and claimed fourth. Sergio Perez moved from ninth to fifth. Charles Leclerc was in sixth and it was George Russell. Pierre Gasly, Lance Stroll's first points since before the summer break. Yuki Tsunoda becomes just the third Japanese driver to score the fastest lap. And he gets 10th place as well.